Yo guys, so you're stuck at home and you literally only have resistance bands to train with and you're just trying to get by. Oh brother, this guy stinks! Here are seven great exercises for your biceps and triceps. The first exercise we're gonna cover is a spin on the traditional resistance band curl. So we're gonna stand on the band as so, right in the between our feet, we're gonna take a normal grip width that we would with a barbell curl, and then instead of just doing a routine curl, we're gonna do a one and a half rep. So we're gonna come up, right about that midway point, and we have a nice contraction, come down, controlling it, full rep, all the way down. So half rep, full rep. And this is a fantastic variation to one, make the normal curl a little bit tougher, but also two, add more time and retention and control in the curl portion of what we're doing. So by really maintaining this strong 90 degree angle with the bicep, we can really capitalize on that natural strength curve and get a little bit more out of this exercise. All right, the next variation we're gonna tackle is the reverse grip curl. So take your traditional stance as you would with your normal curl. So band under both feet through that midfoot position and instead of supinating the hands, we're gonna pronate the hands just as we would with the reverse grip barbell curl. So from here, taking that nice static posture, we're gonna curl as so. Now the band is gonna want you to supinate at the top. It's gonna to kind of force you into more of a supinated grip just because that's how the band is going to be when it has full resistance. But the goal is to just resist that. A little bit of supination at the top is fine and expected. Now I will show you a variation in the next clip where we can pretty much get away from having this problem altogether, but this is a fantastic variation for targeting the biceps, but also keeping work on the forearms. So while we're on the theme of the reverse grip curl, if you want a variation where you're not gonna be supinating as much or having to fight that supination, take a lighter band, step on it with both feet so it has a nice level of resistance. So just enough tension here at the bottom, nothing too strenuous, so if you have to spread out your feet to create that, it's totally fine. Don't obviously go crazy into a split stance, but a traditional stance should work just fine for your band. And then from here, locking that elbow by the body, making sure the bicep and forearm are the ones doing the work. We're gonna curl as normal. Again, rotating around the elbow here. We're not jutting it out to pull it back. We're keeping that elbow nice and tight. And this variation will be better for allowing us to keep a more true pronated grip versus having to fight that supination. All right, so while on our single arm theme, take the same exact stance as we just did with the reverse grip curl, and then we can supinate the hand and do more of your traditional single arm curl. This is great for one, focusing on the bicep, but two, really controlling the movement pattern. Then if you want to spice it up even more, you can grip the band as so and do a traditional hammer curl, or if you want, you can do a hammer start or a more neutral start for that matter and supinate towards the top and then control that on the way down. And trust me, your forearms are gonna be burning with this variation. Now what I will say is that if you were gonna grip the band like this, make sure you have a strong grip on the band. It's not like slipping through and it's popping, otherwise you're gonna snap your feet. So be aware of that. All right, the final variation I wanna cover in terms of our more traditional banded curl is going to be an isometric. So what we're gonna do, grab enough resistance where it's physically pretty tough for us to complete a full rep. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the bottom like normal with our normal traditional curl. And we're gonna curl up to about 90 degrees just above it and hold. And we're gonna focus on holding and keeping that tension in between the band and really keeping a lot of force on the biceps. The biceps natural strength curve is gonna be strongest about 90 degrees. So by holding this position and really optimizing that positioning, we can really double down on our bicep work and drive our effort up. These are a fantastic variation to use as a burnout or just to use as more of a filler when it comes to trying to get more bicep work in on a weekly basis. All right, so making our way to the triceps. Probably the most common variation with the wrist is band only, and this is not accounting for if you have a base or anything to put a band on and do school crushes with, is the overhead tricep extension. So band under the feet, similar like we did in the curl. And we're gonna take a grip that isn't so wide, but isn't so close. So I like to think about just inside shoulder width as being good because at the top, then what we're gonna do is when we extend, similar to when we're using a cable machine, we're gonna think about pulling apart at the top. So pulling apart, keeping those elbows nice and tight, come back down, keeping those elbows fixed and tight and really making the triceps work here. 
The next variation, and this is probably my favorite, is the single arm extension, just because it's a little bit easier to track with, especially when you have a band. So there are two different ways you can do this. You can do number one, the traditional, just overhead extension. So put the band under both feet, bring that elbow up tight to the body, and you can even put your hand here to feel the tricep, and just do more of your traditional extension. And then also you can do across the body. So what that'll look like is taking the opposing hand, so left side, having that elbow out, and then coming up and through. And this is also another great variation for just changing up the angle. And some people can't get into the overhead like more traditional stance as well due to mobility issues or prior injuries and so forth. So that variation might be a little bit better for you depending on how you're built and how your body is actually structured and how you like to move. So try out both of those, those are both killer, and try to be really true with the elbow and make the tricep do the work and rotate around the elbow when going into extension. The final tricep exercise we're gonna talk about is the kickback. Now normally I am not a fan of the kickback with a dumbbell because one, we can only get so heavy without losing our positioning and kind of like just pretty much losing the effectiveness of the exercise because we can only go so heavy. But if we take a lighter band, we actually can maintain tension a little bit better. So taking more of a staggered stance, so put that band under the midfoot on the lead foot, taking our traditional kickback stance, so bringing that elbow and upper arm parallel to the ground. And now the focal point here is that when you hit full extension, try to really squeeze that tricep and hold for a second versus letting that whip you back down with the band. So control the movement, extend and squeeze, and you're gonna get a lot more bang for your buck with the kickback. Honestly, if you wanna even add this into your normal training, it's a fantastic variation for triceps, and it kicks the dumbbells ass in my opinion. All right guys, hopefully you can take and adapt some of these exercises into your arm training when you only have a resistance band. Note that this video is intended for lifters and folks who literally only have bands. They don't have a bench, they don't have heavier dumbbells or kettlebells to put the bands around, or even a partner to create more variety. These are for bare bones situations. If you wanna see more resistance band focused exercise videos, I have done one for legs, so check that out. It's gonna be linked up there in the corner. And as always guys, drop a like, Drop a subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.